Oh yeah. Pretty decent one. Good fighter. Oh, I snagged him. <laughs> I snagged a crappie. Well, hey guys, we're back and we're going after them crappie. I've been doing a little bit of uh, lake hopping today. Then went to one, another one a while ago and the only thing I could catch was a gar or two. Kept snatching my minnows off my poles. So I'm gonna come here back to the swampy area, troll some poles with some minnows. Probably throw that old beetle spin around with the minnow and then if that don't work, I'll use a jig and bobber. But we're gonna try to catch some good ones. Let's see what we can do. Yeah guys, when I'm fishing this uh, beetle spin, basically all I do is cast it out there and let it sink for like four or five seconds. And then what I do, I just pull up and let it sink. Pull up, let it sink. And I'm just finessing it. Kind of like you would a plastic worm if you're bass fishing. I'm just up and letting it flutter down. Up, letting it flutter down. And that's usually how I get most of my bites. Now sometimes I want it steady, steady slow pull, but most of the time, you just cast it out there and I always let it sink, but pay attention. Keep a little snug on your line so you can see that thump. If he thumps it, you want to set that hook. But you just pull up and let it sink. And I'm trying to jig back and forth in that two to three foot zone. Because that's where majority of the crappie will be. Almost every lake I fish, when they're feeding, they're in the two to three foot zone. Most of the time they're in the three foot zone. But I'll play around with it a little bit to see if I can get the bites a little more aggressive at times. You know, just a, a foot and a half deep. And if they're about two, two and a half foot deep, they'll hit that foot and a half minnow when you're trolling around. But today, I've been trolling poles and I hadn't got the first nibble. I, ha I tried jigging bobber a while ago and haven't got the first nibble, but I think I can coax them into the jigging bobber. But first I'm just gonna beetle spin for a little while. Then we'll do the jigging bobber. We're gonna see what we can catch with this first. Keep them on there. Oh yeah, a good one. Oh yeah, we flipped him in the boat. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. A little over eleven and a half. Nice, pretty crappie. We'll take. It. He was running with it. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know he jumped on it there at first, but I do now. Ooh, that's a pretty good spot. Oh yeah, pretty decent one. Good fighter. Oh, I snagged him. <laughs> I snagged a crappie. Ouch. Well, he bit it, but he must have spit it out just as soon as I got him. But man, he's a good one. Oh yeah, he's almost 12 inches. Snagged a crappie. We'll take him. See if we got any out here on the shade line. Yeah, there he is. Oh man, he's a pretty good one. Easy. Looks like a white crappie. No, he's a black crappie. He's just a good one. <laughs> That's a nice one. 
Mm. Mm. Man. Let's try and get that hook out of there. Well, I hooked him and then hooked him again. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a black crappie. He's a nice one. He's a light colored compared to the other ones, but let's see where he is here. 13, a little over 13 and a half. Good, solid crappie. Let me get out of here, away from this right quick, so I don't spook them all. But yeah, that is a good one. I like how, I love, I actually love how thick these guys are all the way down through there. Look at that. I mean, they are solid. Man. He is a pretty one. We'll take him. I think I can get him, maybe, maybe. Oh yeah, we got him. <laughs> That's a white crappie. That one's a white crappie. You can see the vertical bars on him. And of course he's got one, two, three, four, five. This one's got six spawn, uh, spines, five to six on a white crappie, seven to eight on black. We'll take him, he's a, he's a good one. Well, let's see what, what he length is anyhow right there he's almost 12 a good one well guys i want you to check out what i got for summer fishing it, you want to beat the heat that's it right there this is a dual fan system it's got a fan in the back and a fan in the front it's pretty powerful that's on one two three four it hums along there really nice let me turn it back off but also this thing's got a light system on it too so you got like a ring light almost two and there's side setting three you can light up that boat at night time when you're trying to do some organizing or or uh get to the boat ramp and hook up some stuff and it's got a nice power indicator over here on the side 25 50 75 and 100 percent you can turn that off or at any time but you can also let me turn that light out you also can use it to check your battery and see how much voltage you got left but uh yeah i'm liking this thing it's nice it's uh got a it's pretty heavy it's got like a power bank in here so you can charge it right here it's rechargeable and then you can charge your phone up right there it's got a five volt two amp charger right there i like this thing it's really nice it's going to keep me cool this summer but yeah guys i got that off of amazon and if you guys are uh, interested in it i'll put a link in the comment section or underneath the video in the description box Mm. I got him if he stays on there. Oh, he's a bass. That's a good little fighter. He jumped on the old beetle spinning minnow. Nice chunky one too. Later. <laughs> well guys, we're using the Alba Garcia Max X10 light spinning reel. This thing has a 5.2 to 1 gear ratio. It's pretty quick. Keep up with that fish pretty good. And it's got, I got it stringed with a six pound test high-vis Mr. Crappie. And of course I like using these Shakespeare micro series. You can get them in a four foot eight this is a five foot six, and then you can get a seven footer. I like the five foot six and the seven footer. The four six is too flimsy for me, but these got a good sensitive tip and a good backbone to set the hook and fight the fish. That's what I like about these. So yeah, guys, if you want to check it out, I will leave an Amazon link down below the video in the description box. See if we can't jig us a crappie out of here. I've been having trouble getting them to bite the jig, so I don't know. It's been a struggle. It's 
in a real struggle. Let's see what we can get back in there. There he goes. We jig. You got one to the hit the jig. Finally. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a keeper. Finally got one to hit the jig. <laughs> well, we might have to keep her going for a minute. Ten and a quarter. A little over ten and a quarter. Here's a good one, we'll take it. Slinging the old beetle spin again. They won't touch the jig no more. Hit it once and that, that was it. I don't know what the deal is. I mean, they're, they're not real aggressive today anyhow, but I'm having to bring out the old beetle spin again. Try to get me a good mess. I really don't understand the crop here. I mean, I mean, I remember doing this last year. They, they only like, there he was. He got my minner. No, he didn't. Come close. Come close to getting my minner. Let's give him another try. He thumped it good, but he probably not going to thump it again. But I want to try up in here real quick. There he goes. Oh man, come on out of there. What we got there? Oh, that's a good crappie. Is it a crappie? No, it's a bass. <laughs> I thought it was a crappie because it wasn't fighting hard like the old crappie. I mean, uh, like the bass normally do. He just wore out, I guess. <laughs> this old heat getting to you, ain't it? A pretty chunky little bass. Later. Shade's always good to fish. Fish can see in the shade a lot better. You know, they got them solid eyes. They don't have eyelids. So the sun does irritate them when they're looking up. And crappie are up feeders. So I choose to uh, fish in the shade most of the time. And I like being in the shade myself. I don't like being sunburned. I got sunburned when I was growing up many a times. Many a times and I've had enough of it. So <laughs> I chill in the shade. That's what I try to do. If I don't catch fish, I still have a good time fishing. And I might as well not get hot and sunburnt while I'm doing it. That's probably why I don't think... I mean, I love the ocean. Watching the ocean fishing videos... It's beautiful out there. The uh, water so crystal clear, pure blue. It's 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 a sight to see. But being out there in the sun, not for me. I'm more of the shade, lay back in the shade type person. Now I'd lay on the beach. I'd be the one in the hammock under the trees, chilling. There he is. Oh yeah. He ain't too bad. <laughs> uh, there we go. Pretty little crappie. What that meat on him? Easy. Ah, ouch, ouch. He fed me pretty good that time. Oh yeah, here's 11 and a half. 11 and a half. We'll take it. Wake him up over there. Let me 
tighten my drag. Uh, what is that? That's a gar or something. Spotted gar. I'm getting all up in my lines. Look at that. He's made a mess of everything. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. Old spotted gar. Woo wee. He got me wet. Got you hooked on the nose there, buddy. You can't get off of that. I don't think. There you go. Well, guys, this is what I ended up with today. The bite was tough, but we did catch some pretty decent ones. We'll take them. <laughs>